Dad. Yes. This time, the world will forever change. The world forever changes. Really? Because this is about the man who moved the earth. Okay, hey. welcome back, my flock. The Bad Raven here with the man, the myth, the legend. Drew Drop. Drew Drop. Where are we at today, Drew Drop? Are we in Middlesboro or Tri County or Corbin? We're not in any of those places. We're in. What? We're not. We're not in Kentucky. We're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> we're in Tennessee. To get a big old Tennessee, Knoxville, yeah, Tennessee, Volunteer State, the we're, home of Dolly Parton. Sorry. Uh, we are in uh, Tennessee, Knoxville, Tennessee, to watch an IMAX movie, and that movie is... Barbie. No. No, oh, not Barbie. Uh, Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer, yes. Uh, Oppenheimer? I, call, I pronounce it as Oppenheimer, uh, but it's... Uh, is it's, it a musical? It's not a musical. <laughs> but today we're going to watch Oppenheimer. It is a the next Christopher Nolan movie. Oh, okay. The Batman guy. Yeah, he made the Batman movies. He also made Tenet. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm he, still confused about Tenet. I'm still, I still don't... I, I watched that whole movie and I still don't know what happened. But this is like kind of a biopic drama about the man named uh, Oppenheimer. He basically invented the atomic bomb. This is basically going to show how everything happened. Basically, how all the stuff got in motion. How everything got in motion. It's got everybody in it. It's got uh, Robert Downey Jr. It's uh, got Robert Downey Jr. It's got Matt Damon. Matt Damon yeah. It's got Emily Blunt. It's got Florence, Florence Pugh, Pugh, which is what makes me excited. I love Florence Pugh to death. Josh Peck. And then we have the main actor. I think his name is Cillian Murphy. Or Ke yeah, I think so. Yeah, that, that, he's the main actor of this movie. He's going to be playing Oppenheimer. Yeah, Josh Peck's going to be in this movie. That's crazy. Josh Peck. I wonder if Drake will be. Uh, probably not. Yeah, probably not this time. Probably not for... He's probably not going to be anything for a while. Okay. But anyways, Josh Peck is in this movie. It's good seeing him in a lot more roles. I used to watch him all the time back in the Drake and Josh Jay, so it's good seeing him in here. We've been seeing a lot of serious movies lately with The Sound of Freedom. Now we're going to see something. Yeah, we're going to see another mind. drama. Definitely not our usual Marvel fare. Yeah, but we're going to be watching an IMAX today because... Christopher Nolan and the actors said that if you want the full, to get the full effect of Oppenheimer, you have to see it. If you want to feel like you've been hit by a atomic bomb, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like boom, like like see the thing is, oh, this ain't playing in 40x. So I'm like, I'm wondering, what would this movie be like in 40x? Would it just be like <laughs> your face, your <laughs> face blown back, like ah. your face is like ah. Well, it would. If it was a real atomic bomb, I guess he wouldn't have a face after it was over with. But no, you wouldn't have a face. Yeah, it'd be really hard to watch that forty X for a while. You just like going, oh, uh, we can't. I can't wait to watch this movie. I, it looks like it's going to be a really, really good movie. And it's a three hour long movie. It's a rated R movie. Yeah, and we're all the way down here in Knoxville to watch it, so it's going to be another what two hours? To, well, yeah, two hours after we get out. So it's at five. It'll be over at eight. We won't get home until ten if we plus we gotta eat, so it'll probably be midnight for. It's gonna be an all night, all day thing. But hey, I, I'm open up to watch more movies, you know, in IMAX, and and I gave this the IMAX treatment. I know some people will think that's a little weird because you know it's not like MCU or yeah. anything like that. But I don't know. I just I, I just they thought of it randomly. You see it in IMAX. They recommended me to see it in IMAX, so I said, you know what, I'll do it, even though it's a long drive. You know, it is a long drive. We're gonna go ahead and hop right in there, guys. Yeah, definitely uh, stick around for our spoiler-free uh, yes. review of this. This is a spoiler-free review. I'll tell you whether you should skip it or go see it or uh, wait for uh, rental, streaming, whatever, or see a matinee. Watch this trailer, and we're going to let you yes. go, and we'll see you on the other side. See you on the other side.
imagine a future. And our imaginings horrify us. They won't fear it. Until they understand it. Then they won't understand it. Until they've used it. Theory will take you only so far. I don't know if we can be trusted with such a weapon. But we have no choice. let you uh, go first uh, bad raven with your opinion i just want to say that this was a really intense movie mm -hmm. it was like three hours wasn't it three hours three hours long i was captivated the whole three hours it's a very high dramatic movie it had some great performances i'd have to say the best was um, uh, the guy that played uh, Oppenheimer. Uh, Cillian Murphy. Yeah, and the second one, which were, they probably mostly equal, was Robert Downey Jr. I didn't know oh, he yeah. was going to have that big a part. Robert Downey Jr. had a big part in this movie. He, I mean, both of them should be up for some Oscars at the end of the year, I think. Yeah, that, I mean, they have to at least be nominated. Even the whole movie, I think, should be nominated for Best Picture. This is not a faint of heart uh, per, uh, no. movie for people. I'm not saying it's overly violent or anything like that, or bloody or anything. I'm just saying it's a very detailed look into the government, into uh, scientific stuff that went on back in those times. I, I'm very ignorant of this uh, uh, story personally. I didn't know anything about Oppenheimer until this movie came out. Mm -hmm. I knew about the bombs and stuff that had been created, but I didn't know who created them. But this is a very detailed story about mm -hmm. him, his, his, the government against him, and everything that goes along with that. I thought it was well shot. I loved the way that he did the black and white, did the color. Yes. He... Uh, the atmosphere, the sound, the sound was like its own character. The sound, like just like the music and the sound was all its own thing. Yeah, I, will, I mean, I even love Florence Pugh's performance. Mm -hmm. Really, really deep her performance was. I think she done a tremendous yes. job. She's up there with all the uh, uh, actors as far as needs an Oscar for this movie. Um, uh, what's her name? They played the wife. Uh, uh, Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt hit it out of the park. Yeah. Everybody. I mean, everybody involved in this. Everybody did a good job. I felt uh, did a very great job. The director, which is uh, uh, Christopher Nolan. Christopher Nolan. Uh, he, he did great. I mean, this is not your run of the mill movie. This is a very thought provoking, uh, dr dramatic yeah. uh, display of movie making. Don't go into this movie. You think you're just gonna you know, just waltz through it. It's just gonna be your regular run of the mill thing. It's no. It's very intense. It is. Uh, so what I have to what I thought about this movie is I really liked the movie. I thought it was a really good movie. It's definitely a dramatic film. It's definitely got a lot of dramatic elements to it. Like when I was watching this movie, I just felt myself engrossed in what was happening. I was just really like, especially towards the end there, I was just like really like focused in on everything the one thing i liked most about this movie was like the visuals like for example 
there was like some moments with like some of like the energy it would show like energy and some of the stuff that Oppenheimer would see mm -hmm. that he was trying yeah, the imagery to was good. the imagery it like it was especially on the IMAX screen it just it looked so so good and like I could tell why he wanted us to watch it on IMAX because those sequences just look so beautiful yeah. like I'm sure it still don't look beautiful on like regular releases and stuff like that but on the IMAX release it was really really just a spectacle it really was uh i thought all the actors did good uh, florence Pugh was awesome in this movie i just had a really good time watching this movie it was definitely a drama <laughs> so it's definitely a drama it's three hours the only problem i had with this movie there's only two problems i had with this movie it's not a perfect movie no the one problem i had was it that i thought it went too old too back and forth for me, if yeah. that makes sense, like from past to, to present, I wanted it to be more of like a streamlined from beginning to end. It's not like that. You have parts like that intercut in between, which I understood. I understood what Christopher Nolan was trying to convey there. He was trying to show different points in time and how what was le leading up to, and the build up was really really good to the actual atomic bomb itself in the movie. I thought the build up to it was really good it's just i feel like that the whole going back and forth i thought that was a little too just all over the place but i mean i it's not a bad bad thing it's just i, w I wish that could have been handled a little bit better and the movie is overly long the movie is really long in a lot of parts i feel like there's a good 20 minutes they could have cut out of the movie but other than that gr amazing movie I also so, forgot about Matt Damon. He did very good. As the oh, yeah. Matt Damon did really good. It, it was just a good good movie. It was a really, really good movie. I'll probably never watch it again, yeah. but it was a great movie. Yeah, I'm the same <laughs> way. I mean, it, it intrigued me for the whole three hours, yes. and there was some low spots, but I, I, would, I enjoyed it. I mean, I'm going to give my rating now. Huh? Uh, can I say one more thing yeah. before you give your rating? There is one scene with Florence Pugh in this movie. That made me just love this movie a lot more. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, right when I saw it, I was like, I like this movie a lot. Uh, if you're a Florence Pugh fan, you're going to be really like... If you're a Florence Pugh fan, just go uh, just go and watch this movie. You just need to go. Yeah. You just need to go watch it. But anyways, what's your rating? What I was going to say, though, is unless you're not a good person for drama, this is a very talky yes. movie. This is a very... You're not going to get much action. There's not really much action at all, really. It's, it's just a story. Yeah, it's just story, the whole three hours. The whole three hours is really dramatic, especially with uh, in terms of Oppenheimer's character. It really, it really, the way Cillian Murphy played it was brilliant because you saw what he was trying to accomplish, mm. and I feel like it was great. But some people that can't sit through dramas, I don't think you would really like this movie. You'd probably figure it's talking you to death, but it's yeah. a story that has to be told. And I understand why they did it the way they did it. The only way it could be told. There's a lot of stuff yes. going on all through it. So you have to really pay attention to it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if a lot of people have the attention span mm -hmm. to do that. I love stories. So, I mean, I gave it a chance on that. And it, it delivered. It's just it's just be ready to sit and listen sit, yes. to the entire movie. All right. With that said, I'm going to give it a ring to just go see it. Because I think everybody should see it. At the theater, uh -huh. it's it's uh, really a monumental movie making by a monumental yes, director is. and great acting by all the actors involved. So I say just go see it. I'm the same rating. Just go see it. Don't hesitate. Go watch this movie. Cinephiles, you know people it's that definitely your movie. <laughs> definitely your movie. You want a good deep movie? This is it. All right, we're gonna <laughs> with that. We're gonna get on out of here and get back home. We got a couple hour drive. Have to go to something to eat. So we're going to say thank you all yes. for watching. Uh, always remember that the Bad Raven is your friend. And check out all the merchandise we got for sale. We would really appreciate it if you could do anything with that. And with that being said, from the, the Drew, Drew Drop, Drop and the Bad Raven, we're going to let you go and we'll talk at you later. And Drew Drop out.